Um, like you said, you know, you, you go into, like you did when you were an economic hitman, you'd go into these nations and <clears throat> basically offer them a deal that they were not meant to refuse. And, uh, and these, these countries are then put in this awful position where they can't, it's almost impossible for them to get out from under the boot of empire of, of the United States and, and other corporations, um, influence and control. And um, do you see any hope in regards to uh, maybe specific countries or maybe a movement of, 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 of nations, you know, moving away from that sort of uh, control and, and influence by the United States and its corporate allies? There was such a movement uh, when Chavez was overthrown in a CIA coup in 2002, uh, and then he was very, very clever uh, and came back into power. He, he, he resisted the CIA coup. Mm -hmm. That sent a very strong message throughout Latin America that the United States was a paper tiger because he not only resisted the coup, but then the Bush administration didn't go in and do anything. Mm -hmm. And I think they didn't do that because they were so bogged down in the Middle East and, again, were, they didn't want to lose the possibility of Venezuelan oil. In any case, after that, 10 countries in Latin America went from military dictatorships to de basically democratic reform. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a huge movement that was inspired by Chavez. Whatever you may think of Chavez, he, has a, he had a huge impact on history. That's diminishing now. Uh, this, uh, the economic hitman, the CIA, have been in there very, very strongly, overthrew President Zelaya of Honduras uh, several years ago because he stood up to Ch Chiquita and Dole. Uh, he increased minimum wages by 60%, and he he instituted land reform that had a huge negative impact on those big U.S. corporations and a very positive impact on his people. He was then overthrown in a coup. Uh, there was an attempted coup against uh, against uh, Correa, President Correa of Ecuador. It failed, and I think it was intended to fail, but it there's a long, I could go into that in detail, but I won't right now, but I think it was intended to fail, but it sent a message to Korea. So he backed off his anti-oil policies and became very pro-oil. We've seen huge movements to the right in Argentina and Brazil and many other countries. So what happened in 2002 when Chavez uh, overcame the attempted coup, actually it was a successful coup for a few hours, uh, <laughs> inspired amazing movements in Latin America, but the economic hitman, the CIA, the jackals have done a pretty good job of turning that around. And so we're seeing a reversal now in Latin America, which I think is unfortunate and very, very sad. 